Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick second to show you what candling the eggs looks like at um, the end of 14 days and the beginning of lockdown. We're going to um, take a look at just three of them. Not a lot. Check this out. Do you see that air cell? Very clearly. Because pretty much that's all that can show because the baby is filling up the rest of the egg. So that's a great sign because that's what you want to see. You want that baby to be filling up the egg. That means it's going to be time for it to come out real soon. Same story on this one. You can see. Just see the air sac. And that's about it. And the last one. Sorry, it's so bright. That one I can see a little bit more red, um, like blood still. And I can see a little bit of movement on this one still, too. Um, I think you can see it, too, if you watch closely. There's not much because it's running out of space just like the other ones, but um, it's got just a little bit more room yet. But either way, it should be ready to hatch, too, in about three days. which is pretty exciting because that means that it's time for lockdown. Now lockdown is the final stage that the eggs go into just before they get ready to hatch. And what that means is that we have to take them out of the turner. Um, that's the first thing it means. We've been turning them this whole time in the turner. Do you remember how I told you? It goes back and forth and back and forth slowly. But now we don't want them to do that anymore. We want the eggs to lay in one spot still so that the little babies inside can get into the right position for them to hatch. So what we're gonna do, Carefully, I'm going to lift this whole thing out of here, and I'm just going to set it on the floor next to me. Okay, so the next part, do you remember how I showed you before that the moisture goes into these little trays? Let's see if I can get this. Yes, I can. Get this out here. So I'm going to refill these just to make sure that they're completely full because during lockdown we need our humidity to go way up. We want our humidity to be around 65 percent and again that's not exact it can be a little more a little less but that's about where you want it so that the babies that are trying to hatch out of their eggs can get out safely without their shell getting stuck to them. So there we go we've got that all the way refilled. Put the little grate back in and now I'm going to put some cheesecloth your mom and dad may have this in their house. It's basically just a, a cloth that's got a really loose weave to it so that moisture can go through it. It's not picky, but we use this in the bottom of the incubator to help keep the incubator cleaner for one so that it's easier to clean up afterwards and because then as the babies hatch, their little feet don't go down these holes because their feet are so tiny at first. This keeps them safer and it helps them not to slip around. Some people would use newspaper, but the babies slip too much, and that's really bad for their egg, or legs, not eggs. Okay, so we've got that part ready. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm putting this glass in here with a sponge. I'm gonna fill that up too with water, because just like how we filled the troughs, this is gonna help us get the right amount of humidity in the incubator. And I'm gonna watch this over the next three days and make sure that the humidity stays up. Okay, so now for the fun part, I'm going to very carefully lay all these guys into the incubator. There's no special method, I just lay them on their sides, and then they'll be ready, getting ready to hatch. Okay. So I've got them all laid out. I've got the turner unplugged and that I can just wash up and put away. Um, we're going to get the top back on this now so they don't get too cold. Make sure I've got it on nice and straight. And then i got to move that glass a little bit. Hang on. There. Now we're good. So the temperature will come back up. 
it's down to 71 degrees, but it's been completely open. So the temperature will come back up right around 100. The humidity will start to raise, and those eggs will be getting ready to hatch. Um, the expected hatch date will be about, let's see, I'm talking about three days from today. So Tuesday? So that's pretty, and it won't be Tuesday for you when you watch this back. But very soon we'll have a cool video with hatching chicks. Thanks for watching, guys.